Hello, I am Prajan Mudas and you are watching Straight Up. Tamil Nadu's anti-need bill has been making headlines ever since it was revealed on the 13th of September. So we decided to take a look at the reasons that pushed the state to be the one state to continue protesting against an exam that other states gave in to a decade ago. The bill said that the findings of the AK Rajan committee show that need enabled comparatively low-performing students to study MBBS. It also says that NEET is against disadvantaged groups and has only catered to the affluent who can take on the burden of studying and preparing for another exam. But they do not stop there. The bill states that not only are the students from affluent backgrounds getting an upper hand, they are not even serving in the state after they graduate. The bill says that these young doctors swiftly shift abroad and leave the state with very few working doctors. The bill states that NEET has nothing to do with the quality of doctors you produce. The syllabus is from the National Medical Commission and the exams are conducted by the universities. If you can't pass, you don't become a doctor and this is the real quality control. The bill says that the admission to medical education courses is the 25th entry on the list 3 of Schedule 7 of Constitution or the concurrent list, which states 52 items that can be considered both by the state and the centre. This gives Tamil Nadu the power to regulate the same admission to medical colleges. But the final call is with the President and we have to wait to see what he has to say. Stay safe, get vaccinated and keep watching edX Live. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you again tomorrow.